I tell you, it is indeed amazing grace. Glory to God, I tell you, it's amazing grace. You have just tuned in to Applying the Word Ministry. Yes, Applying the Word Ministry. You will hear today our pastor, Pastor Arthur J. McFarlane Jr. I tell you, he has a word for you. A word that will excite you. A word that will enlighten you. A word that will help you. I found out something else. It'll be a word that can heal you. I tell you, it's amazing. You need to tune in. Yes, even next week. We're here, we're here, we're on this station. I need you to hear the word of God. I need you to open up your hearts. I need you to receive that word. We're located in LaGrange, Georgia. You can find us at www.applyingtheword-ga.org. Yes, you can even write us. Our address is Post Office Box 1075 LaGrange, Georgia. That's 30241. Now, get your Bibles and get ready for that powerful Word of God. chapter and I'm looking at that 14th verse amen Romans 8 and 14 amen we're going to be looking at Romans 8 and 14 praise God and as you are looking for the scripture I just want to thank each and every one that's listening to the broadcast over the airwaves. I want to thank each and every one that's here in the sanctuary this evening because God has called us to preach the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, and that's what we intend to do. I thank all of you all that's listening right now Call somebody, call a neighbor, call a friend, and ask them to tune in. Amen. You can just tell them the station that you're listening to. Amen. Because, again, we have several stations that we broadcast on, but the one that you're listening to right now, tell them to go to that station. Amen. I want to thank you all that have joined us and connected with us as partners. Amen. Connected with us as partners. And through the partnership of prayer or financial support, we appreciate whichever God is leading you to do with us. But we again, we do appreciate it. And again, sometimes just write us at uh, P.O. Box 1075, The Grange, Georgia, 30241. Uh, we want to hear from you. We want to know if this word is being, ble being a blessing to you. Amen. Those of you all that's listening over the air. Now, now I say to you, glory to God, we are looking at the word of God, Romans 8 and 14. If you have it, just acknowledge it by saying amen. amen. Praise God. And it reads, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Now, I'm going to take for my topic tonight, I'm free. I'm going to tell I am free. 
to say that, that means a lot to say I'm free because there's a lot of things the enemy is going to have you bondage to and slave to. Now, now here, when Paul wrote this epistle, he, he derived the name because he was writing to those that was in Rome. That's, the, that, that, that's who Paul was writing to, those in Rome. And, and he was trying to emphasize to them that you're, you're no longer bound, but you're free. But now, now, you say, well, the Romans, wasn't they free? Uh, they were free in a physical sense. But, but they weren't free when it comes to the spiritual aspects. Uh, they, 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 they were worried. They were fearful. Can I get a witness now? You, you got to understand the enemy comes to put you in bondage. But I want you to say this evening, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. You got to say you're free now. You see, when you say you're free, it means that you ain't bound to nothing the devil got that he want to get you bound up to. Now, he got some things. I'm, I'm, we're going we're gonna to get into that now. Now, wh what I want to point out, now, see, this, this epistle to the Romans, it's called the epistle of faith. It's something you got to believe in. And see, one thing that we, we one thing that I, I, I pointed out when I first read scripture, it said, for as many are led by the Spirit of God. Now, in order to be led by the Spirit of God, you must be born again. Now, in Romans, it also points out on how we receive our new birth. You got to what believe on Jesus Christ. We, we, we need to realize why do we get our peace, glory to God. Bondage, bondage. I'm just going to start out with peace. That's just, that just one aspect that the enemy wants to keep you bound. I don't know. You, you, you can look around and say, well, everything all right with me. If everything all right with you, he's going to have something going on wrong with your children. Amen. Now, don't, 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 please don't tell me you don't know nobody worry about that. You won't, if, he, if he wants you worried about your children, he ain't worried about them. But when you've been led by the Spirit, you're going to understand that you get them turned over to God. Amen. You can't do that. And especially when you're talking about some grown children. Right. Yeah, when, them grown children. Ain't nothing you can do. It, it, it's strange because at one point I, I was trying to point out something to one of my, my daughters. And she told me, she said, Daddy, I'm grown. I pay my rent. And what I do in my apartment, Daddy, that, that, that's, no your, that's none of your concern. Oh, but I still was worried about it because I knew the thing that was going on wasn't right. I knew that it wasn't going to come no good. But guess what? I had to obey because guess what? I had nothing to do with it. Amen. Can't get a witness. Amen. You can't do nothing about no grown folk paying their paying they bills and doing You know they're messing up. But ain't nothing you can do. But I can say you can pray and give it to God. And when you give it to God, you quit worrying about it because the devil just want to keep you bound up. You got to learn how to give it up. Give it up. Now, 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 Paul, he, he, he was writing to these Romans, and he, he wanted to let them know, I, I'm coming your way. I'm going to be going to Spain, and I'm coming your way. I'm just writing this letter to prepare you for my visit. But what he was preparing them for, he was preparing them to, that he was going to come and tell them about Jesus. He was going he, he to come and now, listen to him. He said, for as many are led by the Spirit of God. They are what? Sons of God. Now, he was letting them know now, I'm going to come and tell you how to become what? A son of God. When I, when I, when I, allow, when I show you how to become a child of God, you're going to be free. You ain't got to worry about being bound no more. Man can't bound you to nothing. Because anything man try to tie you up with, guess what? I'm telling you about one that can set you free. I'm telling you about one that done already got the victory. Now, oh, you know he was talking about Jesus. Can I get a witness? I, I, I want to tell you this. I'm talking about Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my. He said, I'm coming, I'm coming. And, and, and then let me tell you something. When he, when he wrote the letter, it wasn't no, it wasn't no special occasion. 
It wasn't a special occasion. He was pouring out to the, 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 the people in Rome. Now, now, when he wrote the letter now, it, 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 stayed, it, 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 it stayed on Paul's knowledge that the Jewish believers were not willing to, to let the Gentile believers claim equal privileges with them. Now, remember, remember like I told you now, I said now, the, the Romans now, they, you know, they, 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 were, they were citizens of Rome. That they, they, they didn't thought to be worried about a whole lot of things. They, they thought they had privileges. But he was trying to tell them, he was trying to point, these Gentiles, they, they, these heathens you call them. I mean, if these Gentiles, these heathens, if they willing to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and say, they got as much right as you got. Can I get a witness in now? You want to say they bound, but they free. You want to say they may not have them, but they got everything if they got Jesus now. I, I, I'm, I'm, talking to, I'm talking to somebody out there. I'm talking to somebody out there that, 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 that may feel they ain't, worth, they ain't the same as somebody else. That, see, he, when, when Jesus pointed that out, he wasn't just talking to the Romans and, and the Jews. He was talking to a whole lot of others. Now, see, today we, 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 look, we might look at it and, and when it comes to denominations. We might look at, well, the Baptists and the Methodists and the Catholic and the Church of God and Christ and all. They, wait a minute now. I don't care what you, you call yourself. If you have accepted him, if you have been led by the Spirit, you are a son of God. And you got the same privileges that anybody else got. No, 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 no. There ain't, ain't no label. There ain't no label. And there is no point when it comes to, hey, the color of your skin. Can I get a witness? Because when you born again, you born from the inside. Oh, glory to God. You born from the inside out, not the outside in. You see, the real, oh, the real, the real you, they can't see. And I don't care what on the outside. I don't care what's on the outside. It, 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 it going to determine what's on the inside. And when you got the right thing on the inside, you free. No, well, I can't have what they have because no, are you born again? Can you, do, do you have do you have the Holy Ghost dwelling in you? And do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Oh, let's, let's get back to the word now. The, the, the word, oh, glory to God. Now listen here. The subject now of, of this letter that, 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 that Paul had wrote to the Roman. It, the subject was the gospel as revealing the righteousness of God. Now, the gospel is the good news. He, he was trying to tell them the good news. See, a lot of times we don't know the good news. The good news of Jesus Christ is you are a child of God. The good news, if you, if, if I said if, you're born again. You're free. If you're born again, the devil can't hold you down to know Worry. Why? Because I'm going to give it to the Lord. The devil can't hold me down to being sad and all sorry. Why? Because I'm going to give it to the Lord. The devil can't hold me down to feeling this lonely and nobody left. Why? Because I'm going to give it over to the Lord. You see, you got to understand, all these things is in God. Peace is in God. Joy is in God. Love is in God. So when I become a son, of God. I got everything my daddy got. Come on in there. He come to reveal that to me. He come to let me know that I got the same privileges as the body of Christ now. If I if I have not yet received, oh, wait, uh, uh, oh let, let's go, let's, let's look at look, look at that. Let's look at that 15 verse. He said, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Now, that means I have not received anything that I got to fear about. I don't have to fear about my peace. Why? Because I get it from God. I don't have to fear about being sad. Why? Because I'm going to get comfort from, from God. I don't have to fear about being lonely because the word of God, for God so loved me that he gave it only God for me. I know I'm loved. Now, I may not see it out of folks in, in, on, 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 on the man walking around. I may not see it. But I don't, I, oh, glory to God. If Jesus loved me, that's enough. I, I'm, I'm free. 
Don't, don't let the devil bound you up. Now, 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 look here now. It says, for ye have received the spirit of bondage again, not to fear. That means that I don't, have, I don't receive the spirit. I don't have to fear no more. I'm not going to fear again. Nothing's going to have me fearful. Fear is not of God. When you fear for anything, it's not of God. You better know right then, you better go in prayer, and you better get rid of that fear because it's not of God. The only fear you're supposed to have when it comes to God is when you hey, you, you separate from God. And that, and that is sin. Now, when you sin, hey, fear. Can I get a, when you disobey God, fear. Why? Because you're separating yourself from him. That is the only fear you need to apply to God. Now, 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 again, now, listen, listen, listen now. He said that in, in the key words, the key words is righteousness. I said righteousness. It's, it's used 66 times, righteousness. What is righteous? Righteous is a way of God. Righteousness, it, righteousness comes from the way right. What is the right way? God's way. When, 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 you, when you're in righteousness, it's a, it you that word 66 times, glory to God, in this letter. Now, now see, this, this was, a, this was a, a circle letter. You see, we, we got all kind of things today that, that get the word out. But Paul wrote a letter, and that letter had to be passed around, and, and people had to talk about it. You know, I got a letter from Paul. And he said that he come in there, and he told us that, hey, that, that we led by the Spirit of God, you know. But we, we, we got the Word of God written down. We, we ain't just dealing with a letter. Paul done wrote many letters that we can deal with. So we got to understand, we must receive, we must receive the Spirit. The Spirit of God that keeps away from being bondage. Keeps us away from being bound. Keeps us away from the thing that we know God got for us. Uh, we have uh, we have three children here that were born to Mr. and Mrs. So and So and So, and these two children uh, they were adopted. I'm here to tell you when it comes down to the will, those adopted children are gonna get the same thing that them now uh, so-called flesh children got, so-called them blood children got. Why? Because when they adopted them, they gave them their name. When they adopted them, they said, that's my child. And when they adopted them, they become just as much a child as that never born. Can I get a witness here now? I'm here to tell you, he said that, ooh, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. Can I get a witness? I, 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 I've been born and adopted. I've been both. Oh, can I get a witness here? I've been born of the Spirit of God, but in being born of the Spirit of God, I was adopted into the family. I got all the, I, I am an heir. I am an heir. What am I worried, what am I worried about? I'm an heir to peace. What am I worried about? I'm an heir to joy. What am I being sorrowful about? I am an heir to love. What am I walking around with my head down to my, don't nobody love me. When, when I feel lonely and feel don't nobody care about me, I, I learn how to run to the cross and say, Lord, I know you love me because you died for me. I know you love me because you shed your blood. I know you love me, and Lord, I receive your love. Because the one you worried about, they, tell me they don't love you, they ain't going to die, die for you. They ain't going to take a, a lick for you. And Jesus, Mark, Jesus done died for you. And you worried about somebody loving you. That's enough love to last for a lifetime. It, matter of fact, he said, that's enough love to last for eternity. He said, for God so loved us, he gave him on the cross. On the cross that we may have what? Eternal life. That, that's enough love to last. You better quit letting the devil put you in bondage. You better quit letting the devil hold you slave. Oh, glory to God. No, 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 no. Hold up, man. Let, 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 let's, let's hold in this word now. I, I, I said, 
The Holy Ghost have dwelled within the child of God in order to lead him to think, speak, and act according to the word. I, I, listen, I said in order to what? Think. Your, your mind is going to change on how things are done. You quit worrying about how you can do it and you start telling God, letting the Lord know what you need him to do. Lord, the word of God tells you that let your requests be made known. Instead of sitting around, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to call on my father and I'm going to let my father know what I need from him. Can I get a witness in there? And guess what now? The word of God going to let you know what you need to go to him for. Because in John it says, if ye abide in me, and my word abide in you, I can ask, what are we? that's where the righteous come in at now. I'm, I'm doing things right because the word done told me how to do it right. And when I'm doing it right, oh, glory to God. You know, I, 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 was, just, I was just thinking today, I, 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 I went to a, a service and, and they was talking about how grateful, grateful. What God done done for me. It took me back. It took me back to when, 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 when Hurricane Katrina flooded our house. How grateful. When the people was talking about, oh, we got so many people that's homeless and don't have anywhere to stay. I was in that number. See, a lot of people say, oh, you were home. I was homeless. But guess what? I, didn't, I don't serve a God that's going to let me stay there. But at the time, I said, Lord. I know what you said in your word. Lord, you said anything that the devil take, you're going to give me a double potion. Can I get a witness in there? Oh, and then later on down through the through the year, I, I, I found myself being in a car wreck. And I found myself with a broke neck. And oh, the doctor said, we don't know if he's going to walk no more. I had to realize that, and the doctor told me, we're going to wait and see. I had to say, Lord, it's in your hands. Lord, your will be done. No, 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 don't get me. I, hey, right now I had peace. Because guess what? If the Lord had to come and got me right then, I know that I'm saved. I know that I was going to be absent from the body and I was going to be present with the Lord. I know who I am. I said, Lord, your will be done. Lord, if you're going to allow me to stay here, Lord, I want to preach. I just want to preach a word, Lord. I just want to preach a word and teach a word, Lord. But, Lord, I need you to allow me to walk around and talk and give a testimony on your healing power. Can I get a witness in there? I said, I'm free. The devil going to come at you. He going to come at you and try to wrap you up with things. But you better know, you got to have the Lord. You got to have the word of God. I have received an adoption. And thereby, I said, I'm a father. My father. What I need, I go to my father. What I need, I ask him. And he is diligent that day to answer my prayer. You see, I know what I can go to him for. Can I get a witness? I, I, I knew when, when, when I was homeless, it said that the Lord even gave the, 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 the birds a place to stay, and he feed them. So, Lord, I'm your child. I know you're going to do the same for me. When, when I had that broken neck, I know the Lord said, he said, I am healed. I'm healed by the stripes that they placed on Jesus. So I just kept on saying, Lord, by your stripes, I am healed. And then they started talking about, oh, they had a whole kind of bills and stuff coming at me, talking about how much money I owe. I had to tell them, Lord, it ain't my bill, Lord. I am crucified, Lord. I done gave it all to you, Lord. I need you to help. Do you know God wrote it all? Can I get a witness in them? I said, I'm not going to worry. I'm going to give it to him. I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to, you know, people say, you and your house was flooded and gone. Your cars in front of your house were gone. Yeah. We, we couldn't even go to the bank and get no money at the bank. Yeah. Because they said, I'm sorry, but uh, all the computers were further out. We don't we, we can't we can't give you the thing because ain't no ain't no money. You know, hey! But that don't mean I didn't get no money. Why? Because I got favor. Right? Not, not unlucky now. Yeah. I got favor. Yeah. Favor of God. I, it come through. I had a, 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 a preacher call me from New York City and said, I heard that you, you're going through something, Pastor. And he said, is there anything we can do? 
he said, uh, I, I, I know you, you done lost the church. I done lost my church. He said, if you done lost the church, I know you done lost your members. Like, they everywhere. He said, but, but I know you still got things you got. I said, I still got things I got to do. And I told him, I said, well, uh, you know, right now, I, we can't really uh, access the bank because why? Because they're on the wall. They, 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 I, I couldn't go to the bank and it's on the wall. No, 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 no. Oh, glory to God. I, I, I recall the same time that was a, that was a lawyer on, on TV. He said he, all he, he was able to get out of his house with was some gym shops. He was a lawyer. He had money in the bank, but the house he had was gone, the cars he had was gone, and the money that he had he couldn't get to. The only thing he got out of his house with was a pair of gym shops. He had to go to the, to the shelter, and they gave him some away until he got it. Now, wait a minute now. Hey! Uh, I, I, I gotta tell you now. Yes, I lost, but guess what? I got a call. Can I get a witness? I got a call, and the man told me. He said, "Listen." I said, "Well, this right here gonna help. This this, this gonna help right now with the thing." He said, "Listen, you take care. I'm taking. I want you to take care of you first. He said, "Thing gonna thing gonna work out with the church right now." He said, "The church on the wall." He said, "Right now, thing you're a law firm. He said, "But right now, you take care of yourself because you got to have money to live." Amen. Oh, glory to God! Amen. My, 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 my! Don't you tell me that you got to be a slave? No, no I, I, I went to my father. I said, "Lord, it's in your hands." I said, "Lord, your will be done." Lord, you said, "I am your child, and I'm crying, Abba, Father." Help me. Oh, Paul, Paul, Paul used that word adoption. Now, he used to illustrate the believer's new, new relationship. I had a new relationship with God, and that was as a child. Oh, glory to God. You see, in Rome, the culture of adoption, a person lose all rights in his old family and gain all new rights in the new family as a child of God. <laughs> I, 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 I knew I had an old family. Amen. And I, I, I knew, but I, I couldn't call them and, and, and point out to them and say, look, now, there, there, there was a few that sent me a few dollars, but it wasn't enough to bring me through. Amen. Can I get a witness in there? I needed, I needed, I needed, some, I needed real money. Yeah. But guess what? I had to be patient, yeah. and I had to wait on him. Yeah. And let me tell you, God will come through. Amen. I wasn't running around crying and going, oh, I done lost my house. Not, not, God got another one. Oh, I done lost my car. God got some more. Oh, I can't get to my bank. Don't you know the Bible said all the color, all the silver, all the gold belongs to God. Now, I couldn't get to the money that was in that city. But guess what? The Bible said I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed coming in. So even though I done went out, I'm still blessed. Can I get a witness in there? I, even though I wasn't in that city, I'm still blessed. Uh, wherever I'm at, I'm part of the child of God. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I was no longer a slave. I wasn't bound to nothing because I was free. I'm free because I am a child of the king. I'm free because I am an heir to the throne. We are no longer crying and fearful of being a slave. Instead, we are the what? The master's children. I am the master's child. I am a king's child. I am a child of God. I walk with my head. Whatever the devil trying to do, I know I got the victory. I, I'm just a fixed fight, child. Whatever the devil trying to do, I already knew I got the victory. I already got Jesus, and I already overcome it on the cross. I just got to believe it. I got. I'm free. I'm free. I'm talking to somebody out there tonight that you got to know you're free. I know he might be attacking your body. You better say, I'm free. I'm free because I'm healed by his Christ. I know some of y'all out there worry about your children. You want to give them over to him. Give them over to God and say, Lord, I can't do nothing with them, but Lord, I'm giving them over to you because I'm, I got to be free. I got to be free, free, free. I know some of y'all got some financial problems, but I'm going to tell you, you better give it over to him and say, Lord, I can't help it, but I know you can. I don't have it, but I know you do. Because you said, I can do all things through you. I said, I'm free. 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 We got to know we're free. The devil, the devil, listen, the devil won't attack you. You got to be free. 
I got, whoo, my, my, my. I just, when I went back, I couldn't stop, I couldn't stop from crying. When I went back, I said, Lord, you done, oh, Lord, what off, how much you done done, Lord? Oh, glory to God. Right now, y'all sitting, that, 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 that I looked at, the, the, the building, the church, I said, oh, Lord, I done lost everything in the church. Y'all sitting on, on what was in that same building. I look, I, I'm standing on the outside, I'm looking at the roof. I said, oh, wow, the roof gone. I see everything in that done got wet and everything. Went in the building, even the Bible on the pulpit was dry. That's right. I am so sorry. Our time is up. That's right. Our time is really, really up. We hate to say goodbye, but we have to sign off. And we invite you to tune in on next week for Applying the Word Ministries with Pastor Arthur J. McFarlane. Go to our website now, www.applyingtheword-ga.org. Or don't forget, just drop us a line, post office box, 1075 LaGrange, Georgia 30241 We're signing off and I am Co-Pastor Pat McFarlane Have a great day in Jesus name <laughs>